Welcome back after that little commercial break. Um, we are still here with Manny and Bridget, and of course, Steve. Bridget, can you please define what past life regression is all about? Um, we use past, reg past life regressions as a tool to clear past life energies. Um, we, as hypnotherapists, we put the person under hypnosis, and um, while they're under hypnosis, we take them back to a past life. Usually we use it for somebody who has um, a problem in this life, whether it's claustrophobia, <coughs> fear of heights, um, any type of paranoias are usually at least rooted in a past life or maybe one or more past lives. And by using the regressions, we can walk the person through that lifetime and often remove their fear or their paranoia. I know we've done a lot a couple of them in the store, and I've gone to all of them, and uh, and you always say go back to your best lifetime, one of your best <laughs> lifetime. I don't think I've hit one of my best I, lifetimes yet. I hope not, because I was a clown. Do not in, directions I, I don't. I must <laughs> not, because I was a clown the first time I in the mid 1800s in Europe, and then I was killed. I guess I died on a deserted island, and then. The second time when we did it, I figured out that my my wife and child and I were on a boat, and we got struck by lightning. That's what caused me to be on the deserted island. And then I was stuck in a wall in Egypt. In a pyramid that I built in that lifetime. Yes, and the girl who was sitting next to me. Now I see the conflict. Was the was the friend that was supposed to get them. I'm stuck with him in all lifetimes. I can guarantee you. This. And um, we we do tend to be in the same lifetime as the people we know over and over again. So that's not unusual. Means tell me how to deal with both of them in the previous life? Um, and, and that explains a lot. In the next lifetime, in the next oh, lifetime. God. My best thing in past life was to go back to the colonial era and find out that I was not a witch hunter. I was actually a witch. And I had my family and I had the house with the big fireplace. I always had this fear of going back to a past life and finding out that I was like one of the witch hunters. Well, if it makes you feel any better, We've all killed each other in past lives, and we've all been killed by each other in past lives. That should be, don't get up a bad sign. <laughs> and hopefully we've evolved to the point where we won't kill each other anymore. Hopefully. I don't think that'll be, ever happen, <laughs> but hopefully know. one day. I don't know. We, you say that about certain people, and they've ended their terms. Well, that's neither here nor there. Now, since wouldn't, wouldn't past lives go kind of hand in hand with reincarnation? Absolutely. Since you know you have multiple yes. past lives, something to say. Multiple, like hundreds, I've got to say. hundreds of past lives. Okay. I think most of the population believes in reincarnation. Yes, I think even like a lot of the religions that profess to not believe in, I think their members actually do. Do believe they just don't admit it out loud. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. Well, that's why I brought that up because I know that there are some religions out there that don't believe in reincarnation. Mm -hmm. So, Do Muslims believe in reincarnation? I don't believe so. Now, is it possible for your person, if, do you believe that they can come back as an animal in, in the next lifetime? Um, I have not run into anybody who has gone back to a past life where they were an animal. Uh, I know the Buddhists believe that you can spiral backward as an animal. My understanding um, is that for thousands of years we have not okay. crossed that. But I don't want to. Um, I don't want to say no. Absolutely not, because I would assume it's a possibility. If you really, really, really wanted to come back as a dog, I don't see why. It better be a possibility. <coughs> I want to come back as a big black cat, just to scare everybody. <laughs> We'll be very specific about yeah. having a really nice owner and everybody loves you. You don't want to come back as an owl cat with that. no food. Like, I could swear my mother is, is it, my dog is my mother reincarnated. So, because she has yeah, an insatiable appetite. I don't want to say no, that it's no. not possible. I just have not had any regressions with anybody that regressed yeah. to And marriage. she always says she's coming back as a cat. As a dog, I mean. You because I confused that. you, I'm sorry. <laughs> really take much. It's not hard. Now, how, how long in between, like, let's say you die this year, mm -hmm. when's, when can you come back 
generally they say 10 to 15 years, mm -hmm. but a lot of it has to do with how enlightened you are, mm -hmm. and as you spiral upward into more enlightenment, the, the period's shorter. Okay. So once you're fully enlightened, what happens after that? Then you would be an ascended master, like uh, the Buddha, the Hare Krishna, um, Jesus Christ was an ascended master. Mary so you, you Mary would go Magdalene. back to the light and stay there? You wouldn't come back again? Uh, you could go back or come as you please. You don't have to reincarnate into a physical body. That makes a good point. Was somebody Jesus in a past life? Well, when Jesus came to earth, that was his lifetime of enlightenment. At least that's what we believe. So he, was so he became an ascended master at that point. That was his final and life. And he ascended. That's why they say he ascended into heaven. So, But he was other things in a previous life. Before he was Jesus. Yes, there are there are quite a few books on that about the thirty three reincarnations of Jesus. Um, I I know a lot of people believe that he was Melchizedek, God's first priest. I'm sorry, what was the name of the book? Thirty three. Thirty three reincarnations of Jesus. <coughs> so, has there ever been any known? I guess people have, have have you ever come across somebody who who has known that they have completely ascended in a past life? Um, if that makes sense. I don't think you'd be no, ascended in no. a past you life. No, you mean somebody who's experienced a past life and knows they have? I don't know, I guess. Because you said once you, you're ascended, you can come and go as you please. Um, or am I thinking that as a, in different yeah, terms? Yeah, but I don't know that we would, as light and human light energies, mm -hmm. I don't know that we would be aware of that unless they came and told us. Okay. I don't think we would remember I mean, ascending. The, you would okay. definitely know that was a very special, like Jesus Christ was was a very special person in that lifetime. I mean, people were worship, worshiping him as he lived. Um, did they realize that he was an ascended master? I, I don't think so, because they believed that he was the son of God. Okay. So, I don't want to... You know, I don't want to dissuade anybody's religious belief because that's what they need to believe in this lifetime. But I don't think they would be aware of okay. the fact that somebody was ascended. Now I know we had talked about this earlier. You know, off camera. Could our soul be in multiple places at one time? Yes. Okay. It's the same soul, though. Yes. It, like your soul doesn't split. But you can have more than one physical body mm -hmm. that's alive at the same time. That's so you could be experiencing your lifetime as Robert, and there could be a physical body in Italy that is the same soul as the Robert soul, experience a lifetime there. Mm -hmm. Which is why we've had hundreds and hundreds of lifetimes, mm -hmm. because we can experience more and than And some that. of them have overlapped. Yes. So would that be more of the energy not, quote unquote, fitting into one particular body, so it would... Yeah, but okay. it's all the same soul. Some people think your soul splits and your soul, your soul is your soul. That's your okay. essence. That's why, because you said everybody, every, everybody has a different soul. And I can't imagine there being tens of mi billions of souls in this universe. You know what I'm trying to well, say? They probably are, if you think of how many solar systems and planets there are. Well, I'm just talking about on this planet. Yeah. Or can a soul on this planet be somewhere else in a different planet? That's a very good question, and I don't want to make something up and tell you something I don't know. Okay, good. I think, I think my understanding is that the soul is experiencing this planet, but I will find out. Okay, well, next time you come on, thank you very much for coming in, and I'm sure you'll be back. Manny, it's always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, um, thank, thank you both, and blessed be. Thank blessed you, blessed be, be as well. Um, thank you again. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them at... PracticalMagic2.com, um, just click on contact us and send us your emails and we'll answer them on a future broadcast. So long everybody and blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be.